Hi, we're going to be doing the hornbill from Surya, from Paraborneo. Uh, he's from Indonesia, south of Borneo. Great guy. Okay, so let's begin our knot. Um, it's fairly easy. Um, oh, both cords go up through the middle of the core, um, one at a time, of course. And it's basically a sequence. Uh, you're going to notice that there is a loop that you have to do, which I'll explain very slowly and I'm only going to do like two or three iterations of the knot. Uh, my videos were getting too long and I have to cut them down a little bit. I'm going to go through the center of the core and pull it out and I'm going to throw it over to the left side. It's just a reference on how you're going to do your loop. Okay, grab your right cord, you go under and through the center of the core, and pull it out. Okay, now the loop. Uh, the cord you first entered through the core, that's the one you're going to start the loop with. So, the loop is always going to turn towards the jig. So. Okay, let's do it. Let's grab our left cord. We're going to turn and we're going to form that loop right there. You're going to grab your right cord. You're going to go in through that loop and pull the cord out. Okay, now you start tightening. The first one is going to look rather odd. Okay, so we started with the black, which was on the left. Now we're going to start with the right again. Um, one easy way to think about it is wherever this little loop is facing, that's your next knot. Go under and out the center of the core. And remember, this is the first cord going in, so this is the one that's going to do the loop. We're going to go under and out the center of the core. Okay. Right cord, we're going to turn towards the jig. There's our loop. We grab the left cord and we go through the loop and pull and tighten. One thing you should do that I saw the creator do is that once he has it to this point, he pulls it forward like that and then he tightens it up and singes. Okay, now it's red. The hole is facing that with a loop and we're going to start with that cord. So we go back with the black, left cord, go through. Put on the left side. Now we're going to go under and out the center of the core. And once again, we're going to do our loop towards the jig. So we turn towards the jig. And there's our loop. We have our right cord. We go through the loop. And once again, we pull. Go this way a little bit, and then I'm going to finish this up, and then I'll show you what the bracelet looks like. Finishing up, <clears throat> see where the loop is? Black cord, that's the one I start with now. Right side go up, and I'm going to do my loop on the left side.
inward towards the jig and let's pull. Remember what I said, once you tighten up, pull out and forward a little bit this way. I think we've got room for one more. Okay, let's finish it off. Let's take it off the jig. Okay, let's see. Um, we see this is going this way. So we're going to grab our right cord with our fid. And I see a nice little space here between the cord and let's pull it. We just want the cord in the bottom so we could actually singe it. In my Mad Max style, I didn't have to do this. Okay, then what we're going to do is come back with the red one and go through that one and cut, singe, and that's pretty much it. Let's try it out. Okay, and that's pretty much our bracelet. Till next time.